<laughs> Welcome to Baby Weight TV. My name's Joanna, and we're going to do a beginner class for you. A 15 minute quick little exercise you can do to start your day or finish it or whenever you feel like having a little 15 minute workout. So we're going to use a chair in this workout. We're going to be sitting, standing, moving around it. So you might want to grab that from your dining room table. And um, I guess let's begin. We're going to start with a nice stretch. We're going to breathe up, deep breath in. Get everything nice and awake. Again, breathe in. Let's give a little stretch to the sides. Feel real good. Stretching those long sides of the body. Give me a little bit of movement, up and up. You're gonna pull it forward. Squeeze your chest muscles, stretch out the upper back. We're gonna pull the arms back, push your chest forward. So you're really engaging those rhomboid muscles, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Get a good chest stretch. Let's roll those shoulders. Get a nice, loose upper body. Roll them forward. Shake it out. So we're going to start with a little bit of a movement here, lateral movement. So we're going to just go two steps, side to side, and two. So the whole time you want to make sure you're focusing on your breathing. Very important. Remember this is a nice and easy class just to get you started in your morning. Let's add a knee here. You lift up and up, up. Let's do six more of these. Always focusing, pulling up from the belly. If you need to go a little wider with the leg, it's great. Last one. We're gonna hold the position here. We're gonna come up and down. If you need to hold a chair, that's what it's here for. Not just on your own way here. Nice and easy. Let's do five more, four, always lifting through your spine, two, one, we're going to go into a ham curl, so we're going to use these muscles in the back of the legs, right here, up, up, let's do five more, five, four, three, two, let's take it to a little squat here, just going to come down, down, and up. Down, down, up. So you're gonna inhale on the way down. Exhale when you push the force up, pushing through your heels. Lifting straight through your spine all the way up. You wanna really engage your glute muscles, have them take over. Let's do three more if you need to, holding onto the chair for balance. So inhale, last one, and up, good. Another way we can do this, so you're gonna go a little wider with the squat. So we're going to work the inner thigh muscles. So you're going to have your back nice and straight. We're going to come down, down, and up here. So you really want to focus on squeezing your inner thigh muscles together. So we're going to do three more. I'm going to face you this time. So you're going to do three more. Take it up. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do three more now. We're going to include that Kegel. So as we come up, you're going to squeeze, hold, come down, release. Squeeze, hold, come down, release. Let's do that last one. Good. Now we're going to go forward and back movement. Ready? You're up, two, three. Back, two, three. Up, two, three. Now we're going to introduce some upper body movements. So just go up with the arms. We're gonna do a sitting sequence in a moment. Get those arms nice and warmed up. Keeping up with that breathing. So let's change the movement. We're gonna do a chest exercise now. We did shoulders. Let's do a couple of chest. Get everything going nice and warm. One more for chest. Let's add the triceps now. Down, down. Get a little biceps and triceps moving. We're moving all the limbs in the body. This is to get your cart rate up. 
in a nice fashion. No weights required, nice and easy. We do one last one for shoulders. Come out to the sides. Let's do two more. And last one. Nice, very good. So now we're gonna change the seat. We're gonna sit down, have a breather. So let's take a deep breath in and exhale. So we're gonna focus on doing some upper body now, upper body movements now. So let's start with some shoulder presses, straight up. So what I want you to think about is that you're pulling your arms through the water. Give yourself a little resistance. When you come down, really squeeze the sides of your body, elbow to your sides. Let's do four more. Two, three, and four. Now we're gonna do a chest press now. You're gonna focus squeezing the chest muscles, squeezing the back muscles. Come forward, squeeze, back, squeeze. Let's do five more. Four, really squeezing. You're pushing that water through. Two more. One more, good. Same concept, we're gonna push back and come up. Push back, you're pushing that water. Push those hands through that water. Keeping that spine in good alignment. You might wanna lean forward a little bit here if you need to. Let's do two more. One and two. Right here, gonna keep the arms out to the side, reach reach. Here we're going to use a little bit of obliques. The whole idea is to keep the arms up the entire time. Work those shoulders. Let's do two more. Other side. Reach. 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 Now you're going to do both sides. You're going to reach and pull. Reach. Other side. Reach and pull. Good, little circles. Loosen up those shoulders, they should be burning now. You've had them up for quite a while. And let's shake them out. Good. So now let's do a couple sit and stands, get the legs awakened up again. So you're gonna sit, I mean stand, and then sit down. Up. So if you feel like you need for comfort, go a little wider, that's good too. Always for comfort, and I want you to fully sit down. Engage the entire glutes, all the quads, your hamstrings, everything. And lift up through your spine. Lift straight up and come down. Let's do two more. One and two. Perfect. Okay, so we did our, we warmed up our legs doing our squats. Looking good. So now we're gonna stay seated and engage our core muscles now. So we're gonna lift and lower, two. Let's do five on each side. If you need to, hold on to your chair if you feel for balance. And five, other side. Another option, if you need to lean back a little bit, that's okay too, wherever you feel comfortable. Let's alternate the legs now. Let's do five, five, four, three. Always breathing, make sure you got that breath going. One more. So we're gonna hold one leg up. You're gonna reach out with your heel, pull in and reach. For five, four, three, two, switch legs, go out and in. So you're gonna bend and you're gonna stretch it out. For three, two, and one, very nice. Let's do a couple more stands, sit and stands. You're gonna stand up, all the way down. Nice and easy, take your time with these. Really feel the glutes really engaging. Two more. Last one. Okay, let's get out of that chair and move around a little bit. So we're gonna do back to the lateral movement we've been doing. So you go side to side. Let's add that hamstring curl. Up, up, up. 
Get those arms are going again. Let's take it to a knee up. 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 So let's hold it in place here and twist a little bit. Twist. We're gonna stick to one side until you feel comfortable. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do the other side for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, back to lateral movement. We're gonna go one and two. Very good. Let's add that hamstring curl again. We're almost there, guys. Nice and easy. Keep breathing. Work through the muscles. So we're now we're gonna incorporate the knee. Up, up, up. Let's do a few more of these. And we're gonna go back to the sitting position. Last one. Very nice. Let's work those arms again. One more time. We got those legs pumping. Let's do another segment with the arms. Okay, so we're just gonna do a quick segment. Let's do back to the shoulder presses. Let's do five of each. Four, three, two, one. Take it to a chest press and back extension. Five, four, three, two, pushing through water. Biceps and triceps, you're gonna lift and push back. Lift up, push back. Always thinking you're pushing through water. Make it very intentional, the movement. Let's do two more. Very good. And we're gonna lift and lower to the sides for three, two. Let's hold it up here and rotate those shoulders. Last few. Let's do five. Four, three, two, and one. And our final exercise, we're gonna hold our body weight. See how you can do on your arms? We're gonna walk forward with the feet and just bring the hips off the, the chair. And just really squeeze through those triceps. Give it a good, good breath in. And exhale and walk back to your chair. Very good, let's take a deep breath in and exhale, deep breath in. Let's reach up, reach up through your entire spine, reach up to the ceiling, to the sky, and let's lean to one side. Again, if you need for comfort, go a little wider with the feet. Back to center, reach to the other side. Get a good full breath in there. Back to the center, reach forward. Squeeze your chest muscles, expand your back. Reach be behind you, push your chest forward, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Let's roll those shoulders, relax those upper body muscles. And roll them forward. Let's have one leg in front. We could go wide with the leg. And I just want you to lean forward. And you're gonna feel this all in the back of the leg. Really push those hips back. Use your hands to support your back. Get a good stretch. And then we're gonna come back up. I'm gonna switch legs. Legs out, hands bracing your, your back. Get a good stretch in that hamstring, the length of the leg. A nice back release, we're gonna stand really wide, let our bellies come through. You're gonna come down and relax your back muscles. You're gonna roll that up. 
take one more deep breath in, stretch it out, and shake it on down. And that was a quick little workout you can do in the morning, evening, when you have a 15 minute break in your day, just to get it all in. I hope you enjoyed the workout and hope to see you again.